Hello beautiful souls, my name is Jennifer and I'll be talking to you today about the full moon as well as the full lunar eclipse coming up on November 8th. So let's talk about this full moon. This full moon will appear in the night sky before its peak to casual viewers around 6.02 a.m. Now this full moon will be offering an amazing sight that you won't see again until 2025, a total lunar eclipse that will turn Earth's nearest neighbor in eerie blood red hue, which will begin 3.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and will reach its totality at 5.16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time before ending at 8.56 a.m. The blood moon phase will be visible from North and Central America, as well as Hawaii, Alaska, and parts of South America, Asia, Australia, New Zealand. According to NASA, this will be the last lunar eclipse of 2022. And in fact, the last eclipse of any type this year. Eclipses are dramatic wild cards in our horoscope. They are some of the most dramatic tools that the universe uses to get us to pay attention to areas in our lives that need to change. They uproot us, surprise us, and get us moving. They shake us out of our feelings and our complacency so that we can move from one level of maturity to another, to a higher plane. They work very rapidly. Eclipses want us to change and change we will have to do. Each year, you might want to sp pay special attention to the number and the signs of the eclipses, which are due to arrive, and the houses and the degrees that they fall. Usually we have four eclipses in one year. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth stands between the moon and the sun, cutting off the light of the sun from the moon. The moon has no light of her own, as she simply reflects the light of the sun. Here the moon basically disappears. A lunar eclipse is always a full moon and usually marks the endings or the culmination of points. Any eclipse is a significant event in the heavens. In truth, a solar eclipse is really a new moon on steroids and a lunar eclipse is a full moon on steroids. They have the strength of three moons, three new moons and full moons. Eclipses bring news of big life events. An eclipse can bring news of a birth of a baby, an engagement or a marriage, a promotion or a career breakthrough important travel or signing vital business contracts, or even the start of a new business. Lunar clips are more emotional for they bring on final endings. They often make us aware of the passage of time and make us sentimental. A full moon lunar eclipse is always an emotional time. Memories and dreams come up to the surface and sometimes we feel very sentimental. Each eclipse in a series is united in a theme and is strung together, depending on the sign and where they fall in your chart. Eclipses will bring random events you may not expect and didn't know about. It will be triggering by an event happening elsewhere that is completely outside of your control, but at eclipse time brings vast changes will come straight to your doorstep. Eclipses bring events that you assume were months or years away, but here it is right in front of you. The job of an eclipse is to shine a glaring ray of truth to a part of your life that is being, un being touched, and truth will likely arrive in a startling way. We're going to now cover what um, signs this is going to be taking place and based on Vedic astrology, first we're going to cover Western and then we're going to cover Vedic astrology. I want to see where it's going to be falling in your chart. Then we're going to look at from the cards perspective, 
not examining any charts, but seeing, okay, what do the cards have to say about how this is going to be affecting us? Western astrology for this full moon lunar eclipse is going to take place in Taurus. The second house tells us about our values, our basic needs, and how we make money and how we make ourselves feel secure. This is the matters of the second house, which are the matters of our personal belongings, possessions that we want to have in this lifetime. And the food we eat, it represents the point that defines the first materialistic goals of our existence. It represents the influence on our choices of eating habits. Venus rules the sign of Taurus, the second house, which specifies how you gain and spend your own money, as opposed to other people's money in the eighth house. The second house also is the attitude towards wealth, material goods, and possessions, and your potential for accumulating them. Venus rules love and money, and there is a strong influence on the love of things and the quality of those things. Venus is also known as the planet of our desires. Let's also examine this now from the aspect of Vedic astrology. And in Vedic astrology, the, uh, astrology, this full moon lunar eclipse falls in the sign of Aries. So now let's look at the sign of Aries. Aries is the sign which represents courage. It symbolizes leadership. It's all about leaders, pioneers. It also faces its enemies head on. As the first sign in the beginning, there was fire. Aries is the god of war ruling leadership like no other. This is an area in which they shine like no other cardinal sign. It's a sign of action and initiates things even if there is no plan. There's always follow through. It speaks of appearance and instincts, of our physical strength, health, shape of body and energy. The first health which affects our physical body. The first house is the basic connection we have to our body and in this carnation at the moment. Some of the things you can expect from the sign of Aries is independence, eagerness, determined and outgoing, being spontaneous, encouraging, assertive, and a self-starter, being very motivating, directive, confident, and expressing, and passionate. It's about leading quick and new discoveries, and pioneering. Now that I've looked at the different aspects of these astrologies, we're now going to look at this from the aspect of the cards. I'm asking the question for the collective, how is this lunar eclipse, which for some of you may already be feeling, because a lot of astrologers will say it's three weeks before you'll feel it, and up to three to six months after. Um, sell, as some astrologers have said. So we're going to be looking at now how, via the cards, we're not going to be looking at any charts, how the collective will be affected by this full moon lunar eclipse. Hello, welcome to the collective read. So now we're going to examine how is this full moon lunar eclipse affecting the collective? Well, as we can see, as I've stated to you guys before, now if you guys are interested in looking at your individual signs, I did do a weekly read, and in the weekly reads, I did a, uh, I did talk about the uh, full moon lunar eclipse and where it was going to be affecting you, so individually for each sign. For now, we're going to be looking at the collective. I want to see how it's going to affect us as a whole, because it's going to affect everyone. So as I had stated to you in the weekly reads, as you can see, Emotions will be at a high here because we're talking about the moon. And since I can see here, it's very interesting that there's going to be new beginnings. There's going to be risk taking and a sense of adventure here. And things will be happening all of a sudden. Again, we see the birth of new things, new starts coming. I also feel like a lot of you guys are not going to let the past hold you back. You're going to gain your confidence here and you're going to be devoted to these new beginnings and you're going to have a sense of independence here. I don't feel like you guys are going to deal with situations where you feel like someone isn't pulling their weight. 
I also feel like you guys are looking for fairness as well and an equal exchange. It would seem to me that you'll be empathetic to others and also I feel like you'll detach from situations where you feel like you want a new beginning. Again, we see there's wisdom here emotionally and emotions are playing a factor in this. It does look like there's definitely going to be a lot more passion there, okay, coming in, uh, as you can see from this particular card. Um, I do feel like you guys are going to be very innovative, thinking outside of the box and asserting your ideas. I don't feel like you're going to let the past hold you back. You're tired of being stuck and you're ready to end things for new beginnings. I also feel like you guys are going to try to win at all costs. That's also what I felt like here. I feel like you guys are going to take advantage of opportunities when it comes to connections, relationships, and focus on happiness here with the Ten of Cups energy. I feel like you're going to work on really arguing and fighting and asserting yourself to clear the air, to clear out old habits, to old, old things. I feel like you guys are going to be really driven financially also with this Empress card coming out. And I feel like you're going to really be uh, working on devoting yourself to acquiring things as well. That's also what I see here. I also feel like there's going to be people that are going to be empathetic to your cause. And we see a lot of change, a lot of sudden change coming in here. Okay. It does seem like there's friendships forming here and commitments to new beginnings. I feel like you guys are going to definitely discover new things and there's going to be a sense of wonder and awe. Um, definitely you're moving past stagnant situations for sure okay and getting more assertive about what you want we do see there's fortune here so definitely luck is on your side and you're thinking outside of the box and you're seeing paths ahead so you guys are definitely driven for sure i'm sure a lot of you guys are already feeling this energy where you feel like you're getting a lot done you feel very driven you're feeling like they're, you're like really getting a jump on things and you're just moving forward. You know where you have before where you were like, okay, I got to have this all mapped out before I make a move here. No, this energy is definitely an energy of very quick, fast and, um, and definitely a lot of movement here. You're taking risks, you're going for it and you're ready for changes here. And I even see here with the cherry card energy, there's a lot of drive here, a lot of willpower behind this energy. And you're not afraid to end situations for new beginnings. You want fairness here and you want an equal exchange. I do feel like you guys are going to feel victorious. You're going to feel like this energy is really helping you to uh, feel very confident, very confident here. Okay. And I don't feel like you're going to let things like go around in circles anymore here. For this energy, this is going to shake things up. There's going to be an emotional upheaval here, but it's going to make you do things. You're going to get stuff done and you're going to be creative in those uh, endeavors here. That's what I feel like, which is going to allow you to be really successful here. Because I got the King of Pentacles, the Empress, okay, this acquisition card, the Queen of Pentacles. So even if we're even talking about relationships here, if we talk about relationships here, it looks like you're going to move towards really solid relationships. We even see the soulmate connection here. And I also feel like if we're talking about career and finance, you're definitely going to get a bump up here because you guys are just going to go weigh these decisions. You're going to be very assertive and you're just going to go for it. You, and that's how you get stuff done. And that's how you drive things forward. And through the career in finance, you're definitely going to be thinking outside the box. You're going to be very original and you're going to discover new things here. And you're going to assert that. Some of you guys are also going to get some kind of communication here. It looks like all of a sudden from someone. Okay. And there's going to be a victory around this situation. I see a win-win forecast here when it comes to relationships, okay, whether that be partnerships or even romantic relationships. And if you feel like that relationship is not where it should be, 
Uh, I do feel like you guys will be assertive enough to focus on your happiness and move past stagnant energy. And you're going to do it very fast. So it's not like going to be like before. You're going to see how things are going to play out. There's no patient energy here. It's all very fast, defensive, um, you know, assertive kind of energy that's coming out for me in resolving unfinished business and getting on top of things. You're going to guys are going to be very on top of things, even in your romantic relationships. And really, you're just going to be in awe of like, wow, how did this happen? How did this come together? Um, so I definitely feel like you guys are going to get a lot done. You're going to have a lot of success coming in, a lot of fortune because you are very driven. And you're detaching from situations that you don't feel serve you. And you're focused on new beginnings. And you guys are finding your path. And you're moving forward. And you're very driven to move forward. Because you're like, well, you know, emotionally, nothing is set in stone. So it's like really driving you to move forward to take those risks. And to focus on these big changes. You're not letting the past hold you back. Right? You want an equal exchange. And you're seeing the change you're seeing the change in a positive direction here okay and uh i do feel like you will fight at all cost i feel like you'll you'll win at all costs that's what i mean to say so it's like that energy i'm going to win at all costs no, no matter what it is because i'm driven to get what i want so this is my assessment my analysis of the collective I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys because I do read my comments. And I will see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon.